Hello, so welcome to the first video of my tutorial in JavaScript. So this is going to be pretty simple, especially for those of you who are advanced. This, this, this video is, is essentially for those who have never done JavaScript before. So let me first make this bigger so you can see what I'm going to talk about in this first segment. Let's see, let's enlarge this window so you can see my screen properly. All right, beautiful. Okay, so in this first segment, I'm going to show you how to make comments variables, declarations, assignments, and also how to print to the console. So I'm assuming one thing. I'm assuming that you have some form of editor and a compiler that can uh, that would allow you to write JavaScript codes and also allow you to, to, to compile it. I'm using Visual Studio VS, as you can see. Um, the beautiful thing with, with uh, Visual Studio is that it comes with a terminal if you're using a Mac. Those of you that are are also on Windows, they also come with the same thing. Now, if you do not want to download any of this and you just want to follow the video, what you can do is you can go directly on, let me see, you can go directly on um, REPL, REPL.JavaScript, let's see, let me show you. I typed REPL.IT actually, and then what you can do is uh, is this not? I mean, this um, actually do it through here using just REPL. That it. I think it looks better if I do it through. Here. Oh, it's the same screen, and you can log in and sign in. But let's go to the home page. It's just the home page. Yes, it is. Well, they changed it up a little bit. It, it wasn't like this before. So you log in, definitely. And then once you log in, I think I have an account. So let's see. I think I might. No, let me use Google to log in. Okay, I'm logging in. So now that I'm logged in, as you can see, REPL.IT, I logged in. It's logging me in. Okay, and once you've done that, you can simply just start coding. Let's see, let's go to all languages. You type JavaScript. And then, bingo, to get rid of all of this on the screen, just type run, and you start coding JavaScript. And that's it. And it works perfectly. Let's try it out. Console.log, something we're gonna learn. Hi there. Hi there, beautiful. Okay, so I'm not using that. I'm just showing you just in case that's what, that's what you want to use. Um, what I'm doing is using, I'm using Visual Studio. So the first thing that I want to talk about is comments. How do you make a comment in JavaScript? Okay, so what I have here on line 1 through 7 is a comment, by the way. There are two ways of making comment. A one-line comment, you, you put two slashes, and you put your comment. This is a comment. A multi-line comment forward slash star space star backward slash this is a multi line comment okay and that's that with comments comments is pretty simple next thing I want to talk about is variables now I want to explain I'm going to use um, two types of two types of variables throughout this um, throughout this video. The first is const um, pi, let's say use pi for instance, equals 3.14. Another is let name equals bab academy. So let me explain the difference. So we use const when we know we, when we have a constant basically, that's what const mean. Const is when our goal is to not change the name of the to not change the value for the variable. So here it's pi. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Here, this is up to you. Const is a keyword that you cannot change. It must be called const. So I'm going to call this whatever. It's up to you. This is this is the name of the variable that you want. I'm calling it a pi, and I'm going to assign it 3.14. So meaning it will not change. Now for variables that will change, that you do want to change throughout the code. You, we use let, L-E-T, let, L-E-T. 
Now you can use let or you can use var. It's the same thing. Just nowadays, let is basically the new style. But either let or var would do the same job for you. So you can use that let. You can say let x equals to four or let y equals three point four. It's up to you. So this is um so this is the easiest and basic way of assigning of actually creating variables. So I'm gonna erase this. Now declarations are something that I, I just showed you, but I'm gonna just take a time out just to explain it. Now to declare variables, declaring and assigning are two different things. So let's say I want to declare three 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 different variables x, y, z, and do not assign them. I'm gonna say let x comma y comma z and close it with a semicolon so I have declared these three variables now if I want to assign these variables I can easily just do x equals 1 comma y equals 3 comma z equals 2.4 close it now let's save it I've assigned them so I've declared them in line 16 here. I've assigned them in line 17. It's very simple. Now I want to print to the screen. The last thing is printing to the screen. Print to the console. That's the last thing I want to do. I want to print it to the screen. Print, print it to the screen is pretty simple. Now I'm going to show you two ways. Console.log. You can just put X here. Y, comma, Z. To print all, you know, let's do it one by one. Print, that's the first one, that's the second one, and that's then this is the third one that we did. So we should see below here, we should see uh, the values of xyz, console.log. So let's see, let's try this out. So to print from your console, now uh, this is different from REPL. REPL you just press that run button, but to print from a console, from the terminal, all you do is you you type an instance of node. I'm assuming you have node. Node is a way of allowing you to run JavaScript outside the web browser. That's what node is basically. So node, the name of your file. If, this is if you're using this is if you're using Visual Studio with me. If not, if you're using a different type of um, if you're using a different type of editor, you can still do the same thing by doing node and and, and the name of your file. Let's see. As you can see, I have 1, 3, 2.4. I have my values. But this is a little annoying doing all three. Can we do it all at once? Yes, we can. Let's see, x, comma, y, comma, z. Now, let's see if we get the same thing. You see that? All of it is on one line. 1, 3, 2, point, 1, 3 and 2.4. Now, there's something else. Obviously, we know x is for, the, is for 1. We know y is for 3. We know Z is for 2.4, but without that, there's no way of telling here. How can we know which? How can we put X equals one, Y equals three, and Z equals 2.4 on the screen in this terminal aspect over here? One easy way of doing it is printing as an object. I'll show you. So you use the bracket symbol, press Enter. Again, take a look at this. Parentheses, the bracket. And then you press enter to make space. Now just do x comma enter y comma z. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Let's let's uh, remove the first one. So what I did here, you see that we have x one y three z two point four. This is much better. Let me copy that out so you can see it here. This is what we got. It's much much better it tells you it tells you directly what's going on here and it's an easy way to print so let's go back to things that I've covered I've covered I've showed you how to do comments variables declarations assignments and print into the screen so in the next lesson we'll talk a, a little bit more about more uh, more basic concepts but but to the next level things like um, operators and and basic arithmetic and then we'll get into functions and then objects and then arrays and then more more different type of concepts like the uh, DOM model so if you like this video 
please press like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.